Hi, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about copy arraying or just copy array. And let's say I got a column here and I, I downloaded this column from the internet so it's a component. And let's say I want to make a little circular building full of columns. Well, I can select the column. I can take the rotate. Let's say I place it here at the origin. Click once to start. Go along the red line to show where the line I want to start on. And then I can start rotating. Well, I don't want to rotate that one. So if I hit the control key as I rotate, I'll have a copy. And I could type in, if you look in the bottom right corner, 30 degrees. And I have my first column that's set at 30 degrees. And you could keep going. You could go to the next one, hit cop, uh, control again, copy 30 degrees. Well, what control array can do for you, let's go back, is make this process a little bit faster. So let's try, first select the column, pick rotate, and I'm going to rotate around the origins, just easier to do. Click once to start with the left mouse, click along the red line once, and you can start and hit control. If I rotate it, let's say 330 degrees, then I can hit backslash 11 because I have 330 degrees to the original column. And if I divide by 11, that's 30 degrees. I can hit return and I get a whole bunch of columns. So the backslash 11 will put spaces in. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 spaces in. That's what it'll do. They're all equally spaced because I've gone 30 degrees for everything. Okay, let's undo that. Another thing you could do, click on the column, click on rotate, go along the red line, control, go to 30 degrees. And before you click any other tools, you can go 11x and it'll do 11 more spaces or 11 spaces total at 30 degrees because the first one was 30 degrees and then I'll get all my columns at 30 degrees so that's what copy array is is that you use either the slash the backslash some number like 5 11 or you use the copy array something like 10x 5x I've got another column over here let's just copy this one I'm using the move tool, holding control down, and I'm going to copy along the red line, and I'm going to type in, let's say, 50 feet. And I'll zoom out a little bit, and there I have it at 50 feet. Now I can go backslash 5, and it's based at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, every 10 feet, because the first one's 50 feet away. It gave me 10 equal spaces. I can go slash 7 if I didn't like that, slash 10, slash 4, whatever you want. As long as you haven't picked another tool yet, you can keep using the backslash. So let's get rid of this. Just hit delete. This time I'm going to copy the first one, 5 feet. Now I haven't touched any other keys, so I can type in uh, 5x. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five spaces total when I typed in 5x. First one was 5 feet, next one's 5 feet. So I could do that. I could type in 10x, 20x. Keep going and keep going. Or I can go back and say, oh, I only wanted 4x and it gives me four spaces. So that's copy arraying. And the advantage of it is, let's say you wanted to build a little coliseum or something really quickly. Um, maybe it's, the first one's 40 feet. I want to put columns slash four, 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. I could grab all of these copy 100 feet and then I could go I don't know slash 
five, and I'll get a whole bunch of columns. And I had 100 feet, so what do I have? One, two, three, four, five spaces, so they're 20 feet apart. And you could start building your building if you want to put columns down like that. It's also an easy way to lay out all the columns, and then you can go back and just use your select tool, get rid of things really fast. Sometimes it's easier to model this way, where you just build it and then delete it. 